Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be making a keto tres leches cake. It's gonna be really good. I tried this recipe out on Mother's Day and it was really, really good. So what you're gonna be needing is almond flour, coconut flour, powdered monk fruit sweetener or any powdered sweetener, um, granulated sweetener, baking powder, vanilla, eight eggs, and almond milk and butter. We are also gonna be using heavy whipping cream, but that'll be later on in the recipe. So right now we're gonna start with our one cup of sweetener in here. We're gonna mix it in with some softened butter. We're gonna whip that until it's a little bit stiff. So now we're going to add our eight eggs. We're going to drop them in or try to drop them in one by one. After that, we're going to add our half cup of almond flour and our tablespoon of vanilla. After incorporating the liquids, we're going to add our dry, which right here I have mixed together already three cups of almond flour, half a cup of coconut flour, and one and a half tablespoons of baking powder all mixed in together, which we will be adding in at the end. So let's get back to this. And now what we are gonna do is we're gonna put it in our mold. Depending on the type of mold that you choose, uh, then you might need some parchment paper. So the type of mold that I'm using, I will need parchment paper. And also because I'm doing it in a conventional oven or an air fryer, um, I'm gonna cover it with foil so that it doesn't get burnt too easily because it's a smaller area. So let me go get that. All right. Now you just want to spread it out and try to get it as even as possible. So 
So now that we are finishing up our batter in our cake pan or mold, we are going to set our oven to 350 and we are going to cook this for about 18 to 22 minutes. Just check on it after the 18 minutes uh, with a toothpick. If it comes out clean, then you're ready. So while our cake is baking, we're going to make our sweet condensed milk. You're going to need three tablespoons of butter melted just like this. And to that, we are going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream and one third cup of powdered sweetener. You are going to make sure that all this mixes in well. We're going to bring it to a boil. And then after that, we're going to bring it down to a simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. And you do want to be stirring occasionally. All right, guys, one of the last parts to our keto tres leches cake is gonna be the whipped topping. So I have here one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of powdered sweetener, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're just gonna whip that until you have a whipped cream consistency. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright, so now we're going to add half a cup of heavy whipping cream and half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. And we're just going to mix this in. And once our cake cools down, we are going to poke some holes in it, let it cool down, and then add this mixture. All right, after letting our cake cool down, we're gonna grab a fork and we are going to be making holes all over the cake so that when we put in our milk mixture, it gets nice and moist evenly. All right. Next, we are going to add our milk mixture. This is simply our sweetened condensed milk that we made. You're going to add half a cup of almond milk and half a cup of heavy whipped cream and just pour it on in to the cake. After this, we are going to be adding our whipped cream and we're going to refrigerate for one hour. One hour later, this is the delicious cake we get. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and enjoy this Keto Tres Leches cake.